Adam, thank you. Only on NBC5 tonight, we're kicking off a brand new series and a community discussion called So Close to Homeless. NBC5 News is partnering with Access to bring you an in-depth look into the lives of people who are homeless, have been homeless, or who are very close to it. In this first week, we're meeting Joel Roberts, a single father who lost his 30-year career as a truck driver after suffering a heart attack. After 14 months on the street with his family, he was able to get into a home with the help of local resources and his own determination. To cook in your own house instead of going to the mission, it's, um, it's an accomplishment. Joel Roberts and his 10-year-old son Elijah have lived in this house for more than a year now but they were on the street for much longer than that. We had two shopping carts, two cats, a dog, uh, a little boy, and me and my wife, and nowhere to go. That's not where they started. It's where they ended up after Roberts had a heart attack on the job. By the time he went to the hospital, he had been under cardiac arrest for more than 48 hours. Now I walk around with uh, six stents in my heart. A turning point that put their financial freedom in jeopardy. I made some choices and not having, you know, insurance and it's very expensive in California. And uh, so um, I had uh, my own truck. I had to sell it. Uh, probably assets about $250,000 down the drain within a matter of uh, 60 days. All of that money going to a two week stay in the hospital. It was then that he, his wife Lane and their son Elijah moved to the Rogue Valley with Robert's father. When I came here, I thought, OK, start all over, maybe I could do some work and stuff, but uh, my body won't take it. And uh, it's embarrassing because, uh, you know, guys want to provide for their family, you know. He got a job painting houses, but in the end, he wasn't able to keep it. I have a, a nerve um, disorder in my brain and uh, I fell off the roof. That's when Roberts really began looking into local resources like Access and the Maslow Project. You have to mind your manners. You know, it's not like you're kissing butt. You just have to be normal. Nobody owes anybody anything. You owe yourself. After a while, it became the family's routine. Lane did all the paperwork. You know, she was the brain. I was kind of like the bronze. They began to look for housing, but didn't realize at first what a long road it would be. 36 applications and got denied each and every time. Uh, me and Lane had just split up six days and this place here came through. An answer they weren't expecting. We couldn't believe it. You know, we couldn't believe it. We had, like I said, 16 boxes. I managed to hold on to uh, the family pictures, uh, birth certificates, that kind of important stuff. Now Elijah is in school. He's got student of the month three times this year, uh, uh, two reading awards. And Lane is still in their lives. Me and Elijah uh, and Lane, you know, we were three musketeers and now we're not. But having her come over once in a while and help out is a blessing too. You know, but I understand certain things and, you know, she couldn't take so much either. You know what I mean? It was hurting her too in different ways. A pain that is now a little eased. Roberts credits all of their hard work. And for those in a similar situation or on the brink of it, he has some advice. Take full advantage of the resources available. Go in there with, with some self-respect, some dignity and show them on your face that, you know what, I'm serious. I'm not leaving here until I get some type of an answer. It still might be no, but the next time you come in, it could be yes. Joel and Elijah were able to get into their home through the Rogue Valley Council of Governments program, Home at Last. Tenants pay 30% of their income for rent. The program takes care of the rest. For more information, check out our website, KOBI5.com. As for Joel, he says it's a blessing they're thankful for each and every day.